Welcome back to the wonderful Synchron Stage Vienna. I'm so happy to be back to present their newest acquaintance, which is a huge piano, which is actually the world's tallest piano, a Fazioli 308. And this means a lot to me, especially because last fall I got the rare opportunity to visit their headquarters in Sacile in northern Italy. And it was very moving and very special to uh, have a guided tour uh, through their factory and to have all these instruments presented by the founder himself. To talk to this person, to get all his enthusiasm, to even be able to play on his very first model, the model number one, and uh, to see what it means to have uh, a lot of care and a lot of personal interest in each single instrument. So this was really fantastic. And this is where I also had the opportunity to choose the new piano for the Synchron Stage Vienna. And I'm still very curious how this instrument sounds in this hall, how the enormous length of it uh, will actually transport the massive basses in Liszt's uh, sonata. I'm playing a little excerpt from that. Some might remember that I played exactly the same excerpt a couple of years ago on the other pianos, but that's for comparison. We can immediately hear that we are in for a very special treat. I mean, this is uh, enormous how these basses carry the whole sound uh, through this wonderful hall. But there is, of course, more to a piano. We need so many different styles and different things. And uh, in my previous video, I also played a little excerpt from Ravel's Ondine from his Gaspar de la Nuit. And this is a very tricky little thing with a lot of notes uh, involved. And it needs an enormous amount of precision also from the instrument. Wow, this is really quick and fast and uh, gives me a lot of joy to play also this little passage work. But the third piece is probably even more important because this is such an important quality for a musician to have. We are all, in a way, singers and try to put their singing uh, qualities uh, into their instruments. And so I need a very singing tone for, for example, the beginning of Chopin's F minor ballade.
that there's hardly any wish open if I have an instrument like that. So I'm really happy that this instrument has not only all these qualities, but there is also something special to it. It's always important to have something special that detaches the instrument from, from other brands. And here we have a fourth pedal, which uh, is something very interesting because it lowers the keyboard and brings also the hammers closer to the strings. So uh, this is a gimmick which uh, makes things possible that are sometimes almost impossible due to the heavy resistance the modern keyboard has, usually. So uh, we all know that the old instruments, the pianos from Beethoven's times, or even earlier, they had a very much uh, lighter action. So we can recreate some of this with this fourth pedal, which is fantastic, like uh, making octave glissandos really easy. So this makes things uh, possible that might not be possible on a normal keyboard of a modern instrument. So a lot of features, a lot of qualities. I would absolutely love to take this beauty home with me, but uh, it is at the Synchron Stage Vienna, its new home, and I really envy all those pianists who will encounter this instrument in the near future. And I'm very happy to have been one of the first to touch it and to play a little bit on it. So, what to say? Enjoy this beautiful Fazioli instrument.